Hey guys, Kate here, and I have a haul video to share with you. Um, some of this is going to be some stuff from Michael's after Christmas. Some of it is from scrapbook.com, and then the majority of it is from Blitzy. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you kind of the random things. Um, I found these today at Michael's. These are dollar stamps, and they're but they're big. They're not like the size of normal dollar stamps. They're large and I thought these were really cute so the first one is like a little dream catcher and they're nicely etched so I think they're going to stamp really nicely and then uh, the pineapple which I couldn't resist how cute is that pineapple and it's like I said it's a good size you can see um this one says handmade with love I thought that would be cute on it's kind of big to put on the back of a card but I thought it'd be really cute on like a tag or something yeah let me um I'm gonna actually stamp one of these I just I'm curious to see Of what they stamp like. We'll see. I'll just stamp them out and show you so you can see. It looks like they have pretty thin lines, which is nice. I like stamps that have thin. They're a really nice size. I'm not using like a mouse pad or anything underneath it. Oh, then the last one I got says, I love you in the morning, I love you, and in the afternoon, I love you in the evening and underneath the moon, which is really cute. And I'm going to stamp or ink this up this way because it's very detailed. There's a lot of words. I like the mixed fonts. And normally I wouldn't get a stamp set like this with just, you know, like one sentiment, but for a dollar, that was super cute. So here's what they look like stamped out. Very cute. Those are really nice. I'm excited about those. I'll put those aside to clean later. And then I got a Tim Holtz Detailer Tip Water Brush, and you can see it's pretty has a pretty small tip on it compared to my normal one, which I don't even know where that is right now. So I wanted to try that out. And then I got some glitter cardstock. I like this cardstock because it's thin and it doesn't, um, it's real smooth. It doesn't, no glitter comes off. So there's like a royal blue and it looks like you get three sheets of each. A pink, this really pretty gold, silver, that's also a pretty silver. Kind of a white silver. It's like kind of teal or pool or aqua color. A green. I actually, this green I don't mind too much. Um, that's it, yeah. So 24 sheets of glitzy glitter is what it's called. It's by DCWB. So I got this. Then as far as Christmas stuff, um, which is like 70% off or something crazy like that. I first saw these, I thought they were so cute. They're by Hero Arts and it's three little stamps and it's like ugly sweater you can see compared so this is what the dollar this is the dollar stamp so you can see they're a really big size um these are smaller but i just think they're really cute and i think they'll be fun to make some little cards or tags or something for next year um and then i just got some gold doilies there's 24 in here so that's a lot and they're um gold foiled doilies so i thought those were fun and then I didn't get, I got one thing of Christmas paper from Blitzy earlier this year, um, like six by six. And I, I just really liked this. I love this pattern. It's kind of that, let me see what it's called. It's called Christmas Glam by Craftsmith. I have no idea. Um, but I really like these kind of photorealistic ones for the holidays. I don't typically like those, but I thought that they were really cute especially for Project Life or whatever. So basically what this is, is a few sheets of paper, but like this one is my favorite. I love that. And then there's a, like a countdown. So you get two sheets each of one through 25, which is awesome if you're doing a December daily in this page, which is also really pretty. Kind of that glitter. Um, I think this was like a dollar maybe or something. It was so inexpensive. 
Um, and then the last thing is this. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know it existed. It is by far my favorite Christmas like collection of papers that I have seen in a long time. It is gorgeous. I can't even tell you how pretty it is. So I'm going to flip through so that you can see it. Um, if you're not interested in seeing this paper pad, then you can just kind of fast forward ahead if you like. Um, I'll try to put an annotation of where it the video picks back up. So this has some gold foiling to it. You get two of each sheet. It's very watercolory, dreamy like. Um, I like the tones of the color. So these greens are not your traditional like Christmas green. They're kind of like a lime green and an aqua green. Um, you can see really see here kind of the scope of the greens. And then the reds are kind of corally. So this one has a little bit of glitter on it, which I don't mind. And then it has the same print in green. This one does not have glitter. I love this pattern because it's like a stark white and black holly. Um, I love this part. I probably wouldn't use this big um, saying, but I love this part with the glittery snowflakes and the kind of corally watercolor. I like this one a lot too. Some pretty snowflakes on it. It's a different color scheme, which I really like joyful. Like I said, even if I won't use the kind of big icons, I will definitely cut up the rest of it to use. And I don't like or this one. I do like though. This tis the season. I don't know why I like the orientation of this. I don't remember the last time I got like a paper pad from like a box store. This is all green foil. It is so pretty. I love that. And then kind of the coral version, which is not foiled. This one's really cute. With the scripty writing. Then you have three by fours and it has little um, like really faint gray lines, cut lines to show you where to cut. And some of these have glitter on them. Really cute. And like I said, you get two of each sheet. <clears throat> I like this one too. And then this plaid, it has some craft. Then like the coral version of that other green one. This is totally foiled, red foil. I love the font. I love the words. I just love it. Print. And I also love these black and white trees. And then this kind of wonky circle pattern. And then this is all gold foil. And it's kind of like little asterisks or stars or whatever, which you could use for anything. A lot of these papers you could use year round if you just cut portions of them, you know. Maybe not the words or the holly, but like, you know, you could use this part of the paper, this part of the paper, you know, like any time of year. So that is by Me and My Big Ideas, and it is called Joyful Specialty Cardstock. So check your Michaels for that. I think it was $3 because it's 70% off, which is crazy. Okay, then from scrapbook.com, I got a couple of Christmas things. These are from Studio Calico 7 paper. And I don't know how I missed these, but they're tiny words, like tiny Christmas word stickers. Is that focused? Focus. And you get two sheets, one in pink with, I mean, one in red, in red with white writing, and then one in like a mint green with gold foil writing. And they are so cute. They say like boots and scarves, happy new year, favorite holiday song, shopping, baby it's cold outside, season's greeting, wrapping presents. You know, white Christmas. Super cute. I think they're the yeah the same words. Just one is in um, the green with the gold, and one is in the red with the white. Like I said, these are from the Felix line, which is the same as these papers. I don't know how I miss this because they're adorable. Then I got two papers. Are they both from the same? Yeah. I oh, know three papers from the Felix collection. This is number three. I just really like this. I thought it was pretty. Like in that photorealistic. I also like that side. Oh, yeah, that's number three. This is number 11. Love the scripty font. And it comes in the same as the stickers. The red and then the gold. I mean, the mint. Gold. And then I thought this was a nice one to just kind of tie those two together. This is number seven. It's just a white with the polka dots of the colors that are in the other papers. And then on to some Valentine's Day things. Oh, I have to excuse my chair show you what I got from the Target dollar spot. 
I got some of these um, cello bags. I love these. I use them a lot in um, sending racks and things like that. And just in everyday life, like sending stuff to my mom or whatever. And then I got two packs of paper straws. I love these. I drink um, my iced coffee out of these paper straws and I was actually out of them. So you don't get very many 12 for a dollar, but they're really cute patterns. So that's okay. Um, I got some pencils. These I thought were really cute. They're wood with mint. And I thought these would just be cute like in a little jar. And then I thought that these were really fun because I've been wanting the Knot and Bow Confetti, which is a brand and it's bigger, but it's, it's expensive. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy that. Um, so this was a dollar and it's tissue, it's tissue confetti. I want to use it on layouts and project life cards and stuff. And it's meant to be like a popper. So you, you know, go like this and the, as you can see, it pushes it up and the confetti goes shooting everywhere. But I'll probably, do, probably just put some glue down on my layout and then sprinkle some on top. That's <laughs> kind of the way I plan to use it. Um, these I thought were super cool. These are called square paper doilies. There's 18 of them in here, which is a lot. But what's really neat is if you look on the back, it shows you how to make them into an envelope. So I thought that would be really fun any time of year, really. Um, I found these little epoxy heart stickers, which you get a 40 of them for a dollar and I like the shape of the heart. So went with it. These little confetti gift tags, which I think are great. I'm always giving little gifts and like having different gift tags. And then these have some gold, um, some gold and red foil on them and they're really sturdy. They're nice and thick. And then last thing is these little wood slice tags with the heart kind of um, burned on them. I thought that was really cute. And oh, that, that's all from the dollar spot. And then from the like, I guess it's kind of like where the candy is, like the gum and stuff. Um, and they put like the seasonal candy. That's where this was. And it's this little heart decor kit. And the reason why I got it was, well, because I want to remake this in a different shape. And I wanted to see kind of how they did it. It's just felt. Um, and it has like, like basically I think it's score tape on it. But I kind of wanted to mimic it. And I just thought it was so cute. Look how cute that is. So I'll make this and then kind of use it as a guide to make some of my own shapes. But I thought that was really fun. I like that idea of that. So that is what I got from Tarjay. Do y'all call it Tarjay? We call it Tarjay. Oh my gosh, my silly chair. Okay, and then as far as other Valentine's -y type things, I got, oh, these are from Michaels. These are just little like sandwich bags. And I always have these fun ones for stuff for my husband. He gets a kick out of it and it's fun. And then these little um, conversation hearts. I think they're really cute. Whoa, the camera is making those crazy colors, but they're very pastel. And then I got this new Lawn Fawn stamp. It's called Turn Me On. I just thought it was so adorable. I didn't get the die because these are very simple images to cut. I mean, it's basically a square and then a circle and I can cut those. So didn't need the dies. And then I picked this up at scrapbook.com also. I thought these were so fun. They're fortune, um, like paper fortune cookies, but for Valentine's day and they have these little sentiment strips in them. And you can see here, it shows you how to fold them. And I always do like fun little things for my husband, like for Advent or or Valentine's Day, and I thought they would be fun to, to do. But I, I was just curious to see how they worked. Something just fell. Okay, and then I got a couple papers from the new Pebbles Be Mine collection. Um, this one is called Sprinkles. I love any paper that's sprinkles. I, the ones that I, I mean, these, they're Valentine's Day, but you can use them for anything. Um, this is the back side. And then this one is called Be Mine. I got it for the stripe. So this, these are the two that I wanted to used together. And then the back side is all the cute little imagery that's in that collection. And then I got a bunch of papers from the new seven paper line called Goldie with Ashley Goldberg. And we got one or two of these papers in the hip kit. And I just love it. I love this collection. I love Ashley Goldberg stuff. So I was really excited to get this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see them a little bit better. So this one is number seven. This one is number 10. I have two of those. And this is the back side. And scrapbook.com is having a big old sale. That's why I got this stuff. This is number one. I really like this floral. 
number 12. Number 8, this is the one we got in a kit. Number 2, I think we got this one also. Yeah, we did. And number 5. Love those papers. Love, love, love them. Okay, and oh, last kind of random me thing I got were these Maggie Holmes tassels. I've been wanting these and um, I tried to get them once, but then they were sold out. And then I just kind of, for, you know, I didn't order anything else for months. So I just picked them up in this order. So oh, that's got those. And this order was from a while ago. Okay, now I'm going to show you the new Maggie Holmes. No, is it Maggie Holmes? Cray Paper Hello Love. I'm just going to flip through it really quickly because I'm going to do a separate video showing in detail. So I'm just going to go through the products um, pretty quickly. And the majority of these are from Blitzy. So let me show the papers first. So I went ahead and got the paper pad because Blitzy didn't have the individual papers. They just had the um, 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 paper pads. So I just went ahead and I haven't, I'm not, I don't think I have any of the, um, American Crafts paper pads since like one of the old Dear Lizzie ones, but this one's pretty good. It's like pretty good weight to it. It's single sided, which is, I think is okay because I hate having to choose sides. I have heard people say that it's not as, the colors aren't as vibrant. Like for example, that's black and white and this is black and white. And you can see that, that the one in the paper pad has a tiny bit of a gray tint to it, but I mean, it, it doesn't really bother me. I love that floral. I mean, love it. So you get two of each, I think. Uh, you get 48 papers. I would assume you get two of each. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video of only this collection. So I'll show it to you in more detail then. Um, the 12 by 12 chipboard, which is adorable. I mean, adorable. I love that tag. Then the ephemera pack, 40 pieces. That's what they look like. The little gold hearts. And these are not brads. They're just little embellishments, which I really like because the last collection they came out with something similar, but they were brads and I, I didn't really care too much about them. These are some tags. There's nine tags. Some are specialty with some, looks like some glitter and stitching and stuff. These stickers, which are my absolute favorite. This is my second pack. I already have one that I've halfway used. They're called Match. There's 242. You get, I mean, it is a boatload of letters and numbers of each one because they're nice and small. They're a really good size and they're like dipped in gold foil. I mean, they're perfect. They're my favorite stickers probably of all time. Then I got the six by 12 sticker sheet and this has a lot of glitter on it. And I, I see glitter in the packaging, so I'm guessing that it spreads. Uh, this is not my favorite crepe paper sticker sheet that I've ever had. I usually love them, but like the glitter is kind of coming off. I don't know if you can see that. It's just not, not my favorite. There's supposed to be a whole pack of these kind of ombre um, tiny word stickers, but nowhere seems to have them. So I don't know if they didn't actually come out or what. Okay. These are epoxy stickers and this is so misleading because I thought that it was misleading in a good way. There's 123 stickers on here. I thought that it was just like a sheet of epoxy stickers, you know, like a sheet of enamel dots or something, maybe a little bit bigger or like puffy stickers, but this is the size of stickers. Like it's the same, I mean, look at that. It's the same size. It's huge. I had no idea. So you get a bunch of like words and tons of heart. I mean, you get so much love with the whole thing. Valentine, love this. But then there's a whole nother side. I was like, what? That is the coolest thing ever. I mean, it is, this is like my favorite embellishment, I think from this line. Cause I feel like you just get so much for your money in this. So that is everything. I think, yeah, that's everything. Okay guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. I hope you're having a wonderful New Year's. Today is New Year's Day. I'm filming this video and I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Day. My alma mater is going to the national championship, so I'm so excited. Roll Tide. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys later and 
um, yeah, I just hope you're having a great year. It's 2016. Let's make it awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all real soon. Bye.